This is our old Christmas tree stand. It's always been a bit flimsy. And last year it broke. So I got some material uh, to make a beefier one. That was a lot of welding. As you can see, we have a bit of a cutting after all that heat put into the plates. About five millimeters, I think. So let's try to deal with that. So I put together this little jig. The clamp doesn't really look happy about this. So maybe we need something stronger. I should probably remove this before we have an accident. Let's put on some safety goggles. Yeah, that didn't do anything. Ten mil steel plate is really strong. So, I've had a think, and this is not a bug, it's a feature. Because this is bloody rock solid on these four corners. And considering that the pipe isn't really 100% cut straight, if you just orient it right, it's pretty decent.
for those wondering, this peg is both to get the leverage point of the end of the Christmas tree as well as keeping it off the bottom. Because if the tree, if the cut bottom of the tree was flat against this, it would be really hard for it to suck up the water. At least that's why I think we do. Time to see if it holds water. And as you can tell, I'm not that sure. Okay, so this is like 12 hours later, and I can't really see any sign of leakage. And the water level seems to be the same as I measured last night, so maybe we're okay. So the nut for this hole actually got slightly off center, so it's just that the thread round can't reach it. So let's widen it with the Dremel. And now for some knobs. bad boy ways. <clears throat> this is me or natural. Let's say 82 kilo. And <clears throat> 104, which means 22 kilos. Whew. Oh, 
solid as a rock. Thank you.